Hi everyone, today we have come to Kafares in Yokohama, which is one of the largest trade shows for cutting-edge technology in the food industry. So this exhibition is full of uh, Japanese companies from all over the country, food and technology based, showing off some of the highest quality boutique food goods. And also there's some kind of crazy entertaining robots that might be serving you food sometime in the near future. Mm -hmm. And the best part is that we get to try a bunch of food samples. Mm, yeah, luckily I didn't eat breakfast this morning. <laughs> All trade shows are often a little underwhelming. What makes Cafe Rose interesting is that it's the gathering place for some of the main innovators in the Japanese food industry in terms of production and supply. This less glitzy side is often overshadowed by the end product of Japan's many famous dishes, but that doesn't make it any less important. One of the first companies to catch our attention was Green Meats, who are attempting to pioneer a future wave of veganism in Japan. ボードにも美味しいというふうにお声をたくさんいただいておりますので、現時点だとやはり健康志向の方が多くいらっしゃるかと思うんですけども、まあそこからまた環境環境配慮だったりとか、もうこの近年で言われてますので、まあその2点と
soft serve, but the uh, the delivery was far more entertaining than what I'm used to. Yeah, it was. Mm. Mm. Pretty big as well. Mm -hmm. It didn't cost a thing. <laughs> Soft serve dinosaurs weren't the only automated helpers on hand. Over in a makeshift cafe was Peanut, a robot that is mainly designed with restaurants in mind. Essentially a set of shelves on wheels, it utilizes an array of sensors to deliver drinks and meals from the bar or kitchen directly to the customer's tables. Once you've received your order, just wave your hand over the motion sensor on its head and it will automatically turn back to its designated base point. Innovations in technology don't always need to be robotic though. This is perfectly demonstrated by the company Kajuta that has designed a new type of fruit juice machine that operates using an ingeniously simple mechanism whilst yielding highly effective results. So this machine works out of two parts, the scissor part and the main part, the body part. And you're just gonna combine together and you are ready to use this. Okay, so you're gonna first take out of the core part of the oranges, grapefruits, and lemons. And you're gonna squeeze out of the core and it looks just like this. So you're gonna put this scissor part into this core. And when you put the this wheels down, it works like this. So the scissors getting wider and wider down there. So it, it seems like um, um, cutting down the all the fruit part and making it into juice and it takes only like 3 or 30 seconds and this is very fresh because we take out of the core just before we serve it's very fresh and also it doesn't oxidize over time so really good and now we are ready to serve so this is uh, yeah my first try of uh -huh. the freshest orange ever. Oh my god, that's so good. Right. <laughs> that is so good. Mm. It just tastes like I've just taken a bite out of an orange. Mm. But, In a form of but, juice. But like way less messy, you know? Because mm. I can just I can drink this drink and then just throw the shell away. Definitely. I don't have to peel. Is, I need to get no one of these installed in my house. This is amazing, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so to me it looks uh, super eco-friendly because uh, you're not using any plastic cups, right? Yes, we don't use any plastics. First of all, the cups, we usually use cups for drinks, but we don't because the shell of the fruit itself becomes the cups mm -hmm. and we serve using that shell, so no plastic involved in that. And the straw itself, looking like this, is a biodegradable straw that goes back into nature, so we don't need to use plastic for the straws and that's what we stand for as an organic company. And that was Cafe Rest 2020. There was certainly a lot on show and I'm left wondering how long it will be before robot waiters and vegan meat become commonplace in restaurants all throughout Japan. If you enjoyed this video then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Ryu Tokyo for new videos every single week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.